Whose idea was it to buy bikes and put them on the freaking back of the van? I was holding my tongue the whole time. I mean, it's super classic. All right, so this is a what did you learn on your project? We are Gay and Robert. Five years ago, we quit our jobs, sold our house and all of our possessions and began living the dream of traveling the world with only backpacks on our backs. After flying over 300,000 miles and visiting 82 countries, COVID brought us to a screeching halt. True to our fashion, we improvised and bought a brand new van and built it out in just six weeks to explore the United States until international travel opens up. So a little bit of change of plans. Instead of being on the boat in the wind, we were able to find a mountain bike. We're going to install the bike rack at the back. So we got super lucky on this bike. We've called around to a gazillion bike shops and nobody has bikes, just like any outdoor equipment that you would expect. But the day we called, they just got this one in and it was literally still in the box. And so they assembled it for us and we picked it up the next day. Oh, well, and they ordered it uh, last September. Yeah, they, this was placed on order last September and they just got it yesterday, so. <laughs> Our phone call came exactly the right time. Lucky, so. lucky, lucky. So now I have no idea how I'm going to get around in the van. It's <laughs> fuller than when we started with our two malt bikes in here. So got to get this thing hooked up and we can get them hung on the back. <laughs> so now the challenge is to put together a uh, Gaze 29er um, bike two and uh, get them both together and then I will show you the plan. So the plan is to take this and uh, mount this on the back door allow this door to still open the two bikes hang in here and how this is this is a low low rack normally i mean they sell this for sprinters so they people will put it on their um on their ladder so this will go across here and they'll put a bar i don't want that i don't want the bikes out that further so what's going to happen is this is going to be up in here something like that at an angle so the the bars handlebars go through there and the tire is sticking out this way and I have a sea sucker which I'll show you later that'll hold that rear tire so this is the plan reality might be different but so we have two of these and we want to put them up here but this door still needs to be open one of the plans is to put this here the problem is it's curved on the door so we need to figure out how to curve this which as you see is probably about uh, at least a half inch thick um, so I'm going to try and put it in the hitch at the halfway point, which is right here. Pretty sure this will not work, but it's worth a try. You oh, might. You gotta improvise when you don't have the right tool. Oh, it, oh it's going to work. Oh, I didn't budge a bit. <laughs> It definitely flexed, but it might have just flexed back. All right, so, ready? Okay. I gotta turn the camera off and get down there with you. <laughs> Hang on. After much deliberation, we're going to go with this solution, with this in the back. Our concern is the uh, the uh, window breaking from the flux, but well, we're going to bolt the two bolts right here, and that if it that keeps it off this window, but we'll see if it, it moves. So we're going to put this in between, 
and then that hopefully will soften this and uh, not cause the break. But if you watch a video where this is broken in the window, then you know we did think it through. It just we want them low enough that we can hook them and maybe uh, Gail be able to hook her own. So we want seven inches in from down there. So here's the bolts, stainless steel that we're gonna put through carriage bolts. Fits right through here nicely. And then that will be bolted through all the way through the door frame. And this will be big enough, we'll just splice this off uh, uh, with our cutoff saw. Right there. Nice thing is they, the holes came perfectly through the back side of this door, which is very important, less important than the outside. We just don't want these coming through here or up in here or whatever. They're seeing I drilled them through the side. It turned out perfect. So from the outside, that's what they look like. Hopefully the another one will fit next to it nicely. It seems way too over. But... is going on whose idea was it to buy bikes and put them on the freaking back of the van i was holding my tongue the whole time i mean it's super classic we get excited we yes let's do it and then we're putting it together and then but we're like, ah. yeah but now we have darn bikes sitting out the back of the van we, we love not having that <laughs> but Truthfully, the reason is we could pack uh, or we can uh, pack raft, which bike raft with the bikes. We can mountain bike, which we actually enjoy. Yeah. And uh, so we have a unique solution potentially to. I don't, I don't know why it's so shocking when we put them on the back. It's like, oh my God, they're sticking out so far. Well, duh, there are bikes on the yeah, back. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but it is a little shocking. So this is the concept L track bolted through the door, through a frame member, to L-Track on the inside. So it'll sandwich with L-Track. And then these hooks, which these are low, low hooks. So these are these are used on bike racks. Um, but they also sell them this way so people can put them on their ladders. I just didn't want to put them on the ladder. Uh, I wanted to drill holes in the van, so. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't, but it's okay, because the owl rack is like $1,500, even more when we change out the thing. So. I can buy a whole new door for the cost of that freaking owl rack. And this will be slicker? Possibly. So So now let's put this through, but we'll keep it out from here so we can put those uh, pads on here. Um, and hopefully we get a straight bolt through. Uh, we put a protective coating on here. The last step possibly on the bike rack is to put um, backing between the skin of the door. Um, so that way it uh, can tighten down better and plus that bolt doesn't if it goes up and down it doesn't tear through the outer skin of the door so i finished i um, put in uh, boards in here the uh, this two by four um, that's all the way down to the base so then i drill the hole through here 
and that'll keep that from bouncing up and down. And then this one, the same thing. Um, instead of drilling through though, I notched out two by four and uh, slipped it over this. It went super tight, which is perfect. Uh, and that'll keep that from bouncing up and down. If it would, I'm not even positive, but. Bum, bum, All right, so uh, step two is done. Uh, we have too many washers in the back there though. No. Yeah, you're like five. I only. Put I said four. four. <laughs> no, I only put four, and it's still out. But I mean, that's okay as long as it doesn't sag, because we actually want it out further from that window. Right. So it may be okay, but. So after a couple hiccups and modifications, we now have the bracket up there, and it really looks nice. We're gonna hook up a bike now and demonstrate how that works. It's uh, quite easy, actually. There's one. And we use a strap over the handlebar and that locks into place. And then we'll put the second bike up there. Last night it was very discouraging, <laughs> but we slept on it and got some new thoughts. Another trip to the hardware store and voila. Now they're, both of them are on, so works really good. Clears the door when you open up the door without a problem. And then we'll put the um, sea suckers on the bottom and that'll hold the wheels against it. So, nice job. Actually, they use these for bike racks on cars. So this goes on top of the car, they pump this up, they hook the bike to it, nothing else, two of these or whatever. And, and I think they have these that you can put, uh, so you can put your fork of your bike in. The but pumping them up actually creates suction. Yeah. See, the nice thing is then we can put this wherever the bike tire may be. So mine's here and Gay's here. Um, and then apparently it just, you don't even have to get it wet or anything like that, like you would a normal one. And it slowly just goes in until you don't see that orange anymore. And I'm, I'm not doing instructional because I've never used it before, but that worked pretty good. And now what we'll do is we'll just strap the the bike tires to these um, to these uh, uh, rings, I guess, and it's done. Except for it's, uh, Gay's a little harder to ride <laughs> than mine because I have these new pedal things on mine, but uh, hers are a little bit more difficult on the trails. Bonus is the doors open with the bikes off the back. Bikes are probably about um, 30 pounds a piece. So 60 pounds, which is nothing compared to me going up the ladder on the other side. So the doors can definitely handle it. I'm just over 60 pounds for sure. But then I'm able to shut the doors. No problem. And this door shuts with no problem. All right, so this is a what did you learn on your project? Well, the thing is, if, if I had to do this again, I mean, it turned out perfect, but I have one extra hole on the door that I don't want. Now it's under the L-Track, so it's no big deal, but if I were to do it for somebody else um, or do it again, I'd have a little better information. But So I hadn't shown the, the L-Track inside, so this is nice. It bolts right through where there's a frame member here, um, but I went from two um, bolts in there I added a third one um, plus I have another hole here and the reason I have a hole there which you can't see it's behind the L-Track on both sides is because we were going to do it without the L-Track so anyway it was more the solution change but this is super solid of course you know so it's bolted straight through from the uh, um, Lolo uh, hooks um, through to here so that works really well. what are those little rings these rings are just uh, what you can get. They're just um, L-Track accessories. So 
they just pull out somewhat like this. So. so we use those to hang our towels and clothes on yeah. for drying. So that actually works great in the bathroom. And they just push back in. So a few items I learned out here was instead I had, uh, I put another piece of L-Track underneath the original L-Track. Um, so that way it sits on the door a little closer. There's a protective film on the door. It um, doesn't matter, there's also four holes in the door. So, you know, if this was ever to come off, you just have to plug those holes with something. Um, but what I learned was a couple things is you want to keep your handlebars so the door opens, which we did, so you have to be over far enough. But you also want to keep them off the window so that when it, when it moves a little bit, it doesn't hit the window. So what I did there was I added spacers in the Lolo um, hooks. And that seems to work well. Another thing to remember is this door has a curve to it. So that curve screws you up. So what you need to do is when you drill a hole through, what I did is I started on the inside and drilled the holes outward because that way I could get right in the middle of that inner frame member of the door and then come out this way. So that's how I did it. Once I got it bolted in the third bolt, I went from this direction. But you have to look inside the skin of the door and line up that so it goes through correctly inside. Um, the other thing I added was master lock handcuffs. Um, handcuffed onto the Lolo hooks so there's no way you could pull that off. And then the front tire is protected. So the only question we have now is the, the lower tire or the uh, rear tires if we want to protect those. But I have two handcuffs on both sides and it works great so we have good space here you need to make sure that you that's why i have two l tracks up here is that you have enough space that this can be out from the window um, the other thing is the uh, sea suckers which work you know, work great to keep that tire off um, what i did was i went ahead and uh, um, went ahead and put the pedals together so this keeps the one thing that handlebar on this bike out from the window a little bit but then the, the rock and roll is a little less. So there's gonna be a little bit of rock and roll, but if you look up there, there's not much going on. This, actually this piece of metal here is not that thick. I mean, it's just, it's just normal, just like down here, it's, it flexes. So if you look on the side here, you will see a slight flex from this being pulled in, but unnoticeable from the naked eye, so. You can buy the Lolo hooks directly from them, and uh, I want to say they're $45 a piece. I'm pretty sure that is correct. Um, and then I already had the l track from our build, and then you had to get some bolts and nuts and stuff. But overall cost of it uh, was probably, um, you know, about $150, um, not including the, uh, the master locks, which were $50 a piece, but fairly cheap. Nice work. So we got two bikes up. Now, if they stay up, we're good to go. <laughs> Except for our high five was not. <laughs> <laughs>